All right, we're gonna face a 20 HP Mirade Swarm as well. Let's rethink our thing about Forgotten Souls. But this dude might also be a Bux and Queen player. And if that's the case, then uh, Forgotten Souls is less important. Devastators at least is way too slow at the beginning. For now let's uh, just rush I guess. Play the cards, sling them on the board. I think North Sea Dog would, would, would be way too slow. But it is nice value. Alright. Whatever, for whatever reason, just put something on your base line. Alright, this is gonna be a slow uh, deck. Scary nonetheless. So I think, don't think we're gonna need this dude. I think we go for guaranteed one base damage. Nice. And then we go for the value. This is damage he doesn't know about yet, so that's good. If he takes 10 now, he might be dead next turn. Probably not gonna take 10, right? Those are a fast swarm aggro, yes indeed. This is like, uh, well, I think his nickname already says it, Reckless Rush. You just go in and don't care. I think this is this is fine, right? Because now we have already won. Just gonna play Forgotten Potion of Growth, Forgotten Souls. Easy squeezy. 13 damage in the base. Yeah. <laughs> this deck is so. Uh, because that's where everybody's watching the stream, right? Or at least that's the title of the stream. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. We're playing against Winter Pact. This might actually be good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I need to cycle this now. Let's see what we get. Let's just play and see. We're not doing anything for the winning streak. So I think it's fine to uh, go for a bit more experimental. Don't cycle out. Because normally I would cycle out Forgotten Souls. So let's see what happens if we did not cycle it out. Will it be any good? For now, Unhealthy Hysteria looks like. A card that can be gone. I think we're going for front right. I think for now at least. We keep front and not hitting base. They will change at six mana. When uh, Blade Storm and other AoE stuff. Like that Frost dude is 4 mana, so this doesn't do much. And Icicle Burst is only Icicle Burst. That's, that's scary either. So for now we're definitely yeah, start heading face. <coughs> we have enough dudes on the front. We keep Forgotten Souls, Potion of Growth and Devastators. We can go for this one. Or if maybe if we can already win we go for Potion of Growth. If you deal 4 damage to it. Otherwise this will be 13. So that's slightly off. We don't have anything like mischiefs to deal the remaining damage. 
like you know, chipping style. Well, this is actually super good for us because now he's uh, defeated. They faded. Because he takes four. So that's below 13. And that's the game. Another regular Rush deck win. This deck doesn't seem to lose. It's just way too aggro. And then I have also the level advantage, which helps. Alright. Yitsuka. Against an ironclad dude. Yeah, potion of growth. Keep or remove. I think we should cycle it out. After playing gifted and restless. So voila, here we are with the aggro. Like I don't want big targets. Like if there's like ozone purifiers or flaming stream, they will just get pushed away. Ouch. Ouch. Stop being so mean, man. I'm not sure if this is worth it. At least it resets the board. And gives me 10 strength again. So that's something. We are getting dangerous in mid game with Devastators and Forgotten Souls as well. If we can stretch the games a bit longer than we normally do I guess. As long as we keep board presence. What is wisdom? I want double box on this baseline. So Saber Pulse needs to run. So basically need to play head start on this row. You might keep unhealthy hysteria. Might deal some extra damage. Hmm. <laughs> this is GG. Nice. Easiest win in the universe. And another one bites the dust. I think I've lost once with this deck, right? So duper strong. Alright, so let's do the verdict of this deck. Uh, what do I like? Well, Devastators is actually doing a lot of work in combination with Forgotten Souls. If you compare it with Herald's Hymn. It's a bit of a two card combo, but uh, it basically helps a lot since it's so much cheaper. You can just keep it in your hands, play other things. So that's pretty sweet. Shady Ghoul, good for the front. Basically that's it. Not that much uh, strength. Potion of Growth, it's like an alternative for Forgotten Souls. So it helps out a little bit. Well, Saber Pulse, well, it does help with the movement. And if you look at other alternatives, gonna be a Lawless Herd or something. Or North Sea Dark, they will be a bit more tricky again. And Sweet Cap Kittens. Like, it makes, it, it makes sense. If you get this card on level 5, like the rest of the cards, it will be uh, definitely very good. Unhealthy Hysteria, it's a bit tricky. I like the card because it is something that people will not always understand or expect, I guess. But it's not always that much value, but if you can get some value out, well, it's a maximum of 12 strength for two, so that's just insane. But once people know it, they will just uh, play around it, unless you are forcing them to defend their baseline, which this is actually pretty good. And also clears away their units, so you can push your units on his baseline again. Restless Goats, well, makes sense, right? Head start, 
also a super good card even if you are on max level it is also a bit above the curve on strength gives the recruits double bark summer militia and green prototypes i think these are uh, common sense what i sometimes miss a little bit is uh, maybe things like mischiefs but i really hate this card because it's just seven strength for four mana so it doesn't good at all when it has a lot of uh, like just reaching doing the remaining few damage like this deck it doesn't has a lot of uh, value cards in that sense but hey as we can see nobody is able to react to it so it's super strong so i would like to thank restless rush for uh, letting me steal his deck without him giving any consent of whatsoever but i hope you will enjoy uh, my play style and uh, if you if you are watching then uh, feel free to comment and give some feedback on my place and uh, I would definitely want to hear what you think about it so thank you guys for watching